Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant. Today's topic, world record bench presses. I love it. Who doesn't love to see the explosive raw power of a bench press? I mean, that's the purest bodybuilding lift pretty much you can do, right? Everyone wants to know, what do you bench, right? And you know, lately there's some crazy numbers being put up on the bench press with you know, equipment, shirts, bench shirts, all kinds of knee wra uh, elbow wraps and wrist straps and everything like that. But to me, the raw bench press is the purest lift because you get under this bar and it's massive amount of weight right over your head. And you gotta come down with that thing and you could die or you can push it up. And that's the bottom line. And everyone wants to know how much is you can press. I mean, that's the ultimate, even the people who don't even know anything about weightlifting will ask you that question. And you know when I was when I was bodybuilding and I was at my biggest, you know, everyone, what do you bench press? What do you bench press? You know, it doesn't even matter. But you know, I would just throw numbers out there. I know guys that would throw crazy numbers out. Nasty used to say I bench press a thousand pounds. You know, <laughs> to be to be humorous about it. But there are world records, and a new world record has been broken several times now by one person. Okay, his name is Julius Maddox. This guy is an absolute freak of nature, and he deserves some accolades here. So I really want to just showcase this guy a little bit on the channel with this ramp because I'm super impressed. This guy, no equipment whatsoever, gets onto that bar. He reminds me of Jimmy the Bull back in the day. Uh, Jimmy never set an official world bench press record. Of course, his was more of a demonstration, but this guy has got balls of steel. He gets onto this bar with 770 pounds. That is nuts. I remember when Scott Mendelson had the record and it was in the 600s. This guy's pushing for 800 now. He gets under there 350 kilograms, which is 770 pounds, and he presses this thing up like it's nothing. I'm, I watched this thing and my eyes, you know, were bulging out of my head. You know, people are so used to sensationalistic numbers and online you can pretty much do anything. This was a pure bench press from hell. I mean, this guy, I can't even imagine what his nervous system felt like after bench pressing that much weight. The joints and the muscles and, and the, I mean, that, that's a lot of weight to put up over your head. I mean, just watch this guy, watch him press it. I mean, he's just massive and he, and he just has explosive strength. And you know, it's funny, I was looking through his Instagram, which is irregular strength, that's, that's uh, his Instagram handle. I think you guys should all go over there and give him a follow. You know, I hope he gets a lot of followers from this video going up because He's doing some crazy stuff, and, and he's not done. He, he wants to get an 800-pound raw bench press. He put up a picture of himself in a pose you know, with a, with a bodybuilder, with a really, really nice, a really good physique bodybuilder. And you can tell, the guy's not really fat. He's got massive amounts of thick, dense muscle on his body, and he's got some body fat, but he's so big, he doesn't even have a neck in the picture. That's pure muscle. You only get that from training super, super hard. This is not uh, a guy who just, you know, casually lifts. This is a guy who's dedicated himself to being the best bencher he could possibly be. And if you watch his, chat, his, his uh, Instagram, you can see how much he puts into it. And he obviously gets the marketing angle of it. And he's a, he's a really super high energy guy. And he's, you know, he gets super psyched. And to me, that's exciting. You know, I, I enjoy bodybuilding. Obviously, I, I was a bodybuilder. But I like the strength sports. I do. I love the strong man. I love the, uh, the, the power lifting because it's actually executing and doing something. It's, you have to perform when you are under that bar, okay? Whereas bodybuilding, you kind of do the work in the gym and then you come and you show it off on stage. It's a, di it's a different concept. Yeah, we want to see how freaky you look, but there's really no, there's no um, uh, I guess you could say, sport that's going on while you're actually on stage. It's more of a, of a beauty contest once you get there. The work is done in the gym. But I, su I am super impressed when guys have the, the balls to get under that kind of weight and can push that stuff up. Because I remember when I would do uh, squats back in the day, you know, with 600 pounds, I, it was like a religious experience. Because you're getting under this weight, you don't know if you're getting that weight off the ground. You could be buried with that weight. Something can give out. I mean, same thing with the bench press. You're basically, you have like a guillotine over your head. And it could basically cut your neck off. And no one's stopping 770 pounds from coming down. If, if your arm gives out, I mean, you, he has spotters there obviously watching him, but they can only do so much. You can get really hurt with that kind of weight. So you gotta know what you're doing. You can't just be some novice who goes to the gym and puts a ridiculous amount of weight on. This guy has gradually built up to this little by little by little. 
and it culminated in this crazy 770 pound raw bench press for the world record and I predict that we are going to see this record go up and up. This guy's not done. I'm telling you, he hasn't hit his peak yet. I think we're going to see an 800 from this guy before it's all said and done, which is insane considering, you know, the, the, you know when I first started back in the 90s, the equi equipped world record was they just got 700. So he's raw bench pressing today, okay, more than the guys back in the 90s did with equipment. I don't think anyone ever predicted that would ever happen. I mean, that, it's, it's unbelievable the, the level of strength that this guy has. So, once again, go over to his Instagram, Irregular Strength. Give him a follow. Let's get this guy inspired. I want to see him do even more. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get him on the TV show and interview him and find out a little bit more about who Julius Maddox really is deep down, what his past is, and how he's gotten to the point he's gotten to at this point. Uh, for now, I just want to say congratulations on that great world record. Super impressed, guys. Give him a follow. Uh, he deserves it. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.